Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please give a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can. Just so we can get out there a little bit more. With that being said, let's get right into the video. It's almost playoff time, and the Boston Celtics keep stacking up wins as they pick up their 62nd of the season, beating the Portland Trailblazers 124 to 107. Everyone got some run last night, and it was a good team effort with some nice actions, and I wanted to take a deeper look, so let's get into the film. All right, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing good. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, make sure you take your shoes off before you come to the house. And on the first play, this game the Celtics always usually run something cool in the first play and here they use a little bit of deception two times to catch the Blazers off guard so here it looks like the Celtics, the Celtics are going to go to some Ram action a Ram screen is when the pin down is set for somebody to go set a ball screen so here Drew sets the pin down for Al Horford and it looks like he's going to go set this ball screen for Derek White but no he immediately goes to Jalen Brown so now it looks like they're going to set the screen for Jalen Brown. Al Horford even signals like he's going to set the screen for Jalen to come off, right? Chris Murray, of course, thinks that Al's going to set the screen. He plays Jalen topside, but in reality, the other deception is that it's actually a screen for Al Horford. So Jalen sets the flare, and now DeAndre Ayton is lagging behind the plate. So now Al Horford is open. He pump fakes, and then he drives. And because Ayton was behind the plate to begin with, out pump face he drives eight and still behind and he dunks it through all right so here's the play that the celtics ran a lot in my last video it was a porzingis one against the thunder they ran this a lot it was this low angle empty side pick and roll so it's all in the name right so it's it's low angle right and there's nobody in the corner which means it's empty side right so here they did this to call switches right and here Al sets the screen and Derek White does a phenomenal job dragging out the screen so he drags it all the way to a and Al Horford can shoot so if they don't switch this quickly he's, he's just gonna pass it out over and he can hit a three it's very important that White neglects this screen and drags it all the way out to DeAndre Ayton. So Scoot is forced to switch. You see, they got the switch and Derek is going to point at Al to go post up, right? So now the Celtics have the switch that they won. Al Horford is posting up. Scoot does a nice job front of the post, which means Derek White is probably going to have to make a lob pass into Al to get it in which means Ryan Rupert could probably come in and swoop and get, get the pass. So the important thing on this is Chris has Porzingis flashing to the free throw line, right? This initiates the high-low action and it's a better angle for the post entry because Scoot is front of the post. So now he floats it up to Al Horford, right? And here he's gonna back guys down and he's gonna get out to Drew Holiday. Drew does not hit this shot initially, but what's important is those switches that Al Horford got to begin with, because now that opens up an opportunity for him to get an offensive rebound on a guy that's not DeAndre Ayton. He passes it right back out to Drew and he hits the floater. All right, so here the play worked last time. So let's go right back to it. That's something I don't really understand about a lot of NBA teams. If an action works, don't switch it, go right back to it and force the team to show you that they can stop it. So here, again, they go to the low angle empty side pick and roll. And this one is a little higher. Um, I think the last play was a, like around here and it forced DeAndre Ayton to have to play the baseline. So to get the switch, Derek White had to drag it out over here and then scoop switch to Al Horford at about here. This one is a little higher and Jabari Walker is kind of, it's not playing it as deep as DeAndre Ayton was. So now Derek White has to go the other way to force Scoot to switch, they switch it. And just like on the last play, you saw that Scoot likes to front the post. He's trying to do that here, but Porzingis does a nice job holding him off. Derek White lobs it up before Scoot fronts it. He slips through and he dunks the ball. Again, milk the same action. If they don't stop it, go right back to it. And on this one, it's just a really great screen by Al Horford. Holds Ryan repair off, so he forces the switch, goes right to the block. Good pass by White in a layup. All right, so here the Trail Bays decide to go zone on this play. The Celtics were just trying to pass around. They couldn't find a good look this whole possession. And I just love how Luke Cornette has chemistry with a lot of these guys screening, whether it's on the ball, off the ball, or those, those little dribble handoffs. He does a nice job of the timing where he sets the screen. So here they pass to Sam Hauser and I remember the Celtics traded for Lou Cornette and he was supposed to be this guy that can shoot, right? I think his first game against OKC, he had about two threes, but ever since then, he just doesn't take threes, right? And this does not mean he can't be effective. And this is why he's effective without shooting the ball because here he's wide open, right? But passing it to him in the corner with five seconds left is not a really smart thing. Something would have to happen really quick for this to end 
in a good shot attempt. So here, what does Luke do? He comes and he sets the screen, gets Hauser a wide open look, and he hits the corner three. This video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winners roll in. Download the app today and use the code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Prospects is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Prospects even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, Prospects will have your back and not count that as a loss. Personally, I've been using Prospects for about two years and I've won a pretty penny in that span. I only do NBA and NFL, but you guys are probably more versatile than I am. And since there's no NBA games today due to the national championship, this is my first ever NCAA entry. And it's just a slight two man. I have Stefan Castle, more than 11 points, and Braden Smith, more than 11 and a half rebounds plus assists. Once again, download the app today and use the code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100 pick more pick less it's that easy all right so here it looked like the settlers were going to go to some blind pig action blind pig is when the person you're trying to pass to is being denied the basketball so somebody comes up in the middle of this you pass it to them and it's a dribble handoff under the guy that's denying them right so here it looked like it looked like Cornette was expecting Jalen Brown to come for a handoff he does not he goes right over there and it looks like he's gonna set a screen for Peyton Pritchard you see Delano pointing that they're gonna switch it that's good for Jalen Brown he slips right through gets post up position deep in the paint and the fadeaway is good all right so here the sellers run a simple action but it's really effective so here Xavier Tillman and Al oh I got him <laughs> Xavier Tillman and Al Horford are gonna set pin downs on both sides of the court so Tillman's gonna set one for Peyton Pritchard um Al Horford's gonna set one for Drew Holiday Peyton tells Tillman to not set it because he knows that the action is coming to this side so here Al Horford sets the pin down on school he does a nice enough job setting that screen school gets hit by it so it forces him to switch as drew curls off of it they now have the switch drew lobs it up to where only al could get it he, is, he gets the switch for a second and it's effective because he bumps and he gets the foul all right so this isn't even like a set action or something it was just a really good play by Jalen porzingis and everybody involved in it so here Jalen brown could just pass it back to Tarek white and he can enter it into porzingis but Jalen brown chooses to make the post entry pass <laughs> from damn near to the logo but he puts it perfectly so he passes it up into Porzingis's outside hand because Rupert is playing his inside shoulder so he throws to the outside Porzingis catches it with one hand and in one motion he's catching the ball and he's passing it to Al Horford school Henderson comes off of the corner because he's anticipating the Jalen Brown pass this great catch negates whatever school was doing on the backside he passes it to Al DeAndre Ayn steps up they swing it to Drew Holiday and of course he hits the corner three all right so here for the last play the Celtics go to zoom action for Speed Mikhailu zoom action is when a pin down is set for somebody to go get a dribble handoff so you get a screen by Pritchard the handoff from Luke Luke sets a nice screen Speed rises up and he hits the three but that is the video if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe and share it in and everyone that you can just bring it out there a little bit more and I will see you guys in the next video this is Nick. Peace.